Hello. Now, unless you're my math teacher and you're grading me on this video, um, you clicked on this because you recently bought or stole or otherwise acquired a Soma Cube. And you're not quite sure how on earth to get it to this point. Now, you might have been apprehensive about finding out the solution because you feel as though you didn't find it out yourself, but never fear. There are apparently 240 different solutions to this, so you can have a lot of fun finding out different solutions for yourself because I'm only going to give one because I don't have time to give 240. I don't think you have time to watch me give 240. So, here we go. First, let's take a look at the pieces. We have this piece here, which is like a Z a bit. So let's just say it's a Z. And this piece, which looks like an L. This piece, that looks like a T. Looks like this guy was inspired by Tetris, I don't know. You have this that looks like a V a bit. It looks like a little V. This is just a weird piece. It's one of two weird pieces. This weird piece looks a lot like it, but it's slightly different. And you have this piece as well, which is actually a bit weird too. It's a bit, I don't know. Now, apparently this puzzle is made, all these blocks are made completely out of little blocks. And apparently these are all the possible combinations of three and four blocks. So, interesting. So, this is how I'm going to explain how to solve it. First, we're going to take this weird piece. And we're going to take this weird piece, the two that look similar. And we're going to put them together so that the base is a two by three, two by three, with a one square gap. Now, in that gap, we're going to take our third weird piece, and we're going to just slide it in right there, and we're going to just slide it in there, like so. So now, at the base, we have a three by three with one hole here, and at the top, we have three squares here and one there. Now, we are going to take the Z, what we're going to do, we're going to put it in the hole in our base, like so, in such a way that the holes left in the second layer, you might say, the holes left here are perfectly placed. So we can just kind of pop this little V in right here, like so. Now, we take our T right here and we just place it in like so. It can also go on the other side, it doesn't matter. And last of all, you might see we have a perfect shaped L hole right there. And we are just gonna plop that piece in there and voila, you have your completed Soma Cube.